do spoons and words have in common? In Germany, they're both freaking humongous. Hey everyone, I'm Donna and you're watching Wanted Adventure Living Abroad. And Stefan here. People often say that stuff in America is bigger, like cars and stores. So we wanted to look at it the other way around. Here are some things that are bigger in Germany. If you go from Germany or any other country that's on the Euro to the US, you'll be fine. Your wallets will be just fine. But if you try to go to Germany with your narrow American wallet, you'll have a bit of a problem because the Euro bills are wider and stick out the sides. In German, little words often get strung or pushed together to form bigger words. Whereas in English, we usually just kind of leave the little words sitting there next to each other with, you know, a comfortable amount of personal space in between each one. For example, wedding invitation cards becomes Hochzeitseinladungskarten. Table tennis paddle is Tischtennisschläger. And actually, including the spaces, Table tennis paddle and Tisch tennis schläger both have 19 characters, but the German one is one big word rather than three littler words in English. Numbers become one just gigantic word in German too. 222, for example, becomes 222 in German, all one word. This here is a standard piece of paper in Germany. It's called A4. And the A4 paper has an area of 623.7 square centimeters. A standard piece of paper in the US is a little bit wider than the German paper, but a good bit shorter than the paper here in Germany. And the area is only 603.2 square centimeters. But actually for this one, I would say that it's not really so much that paper in Germany Germany is bigger because the A4 sized paper is actually the standard size for paper around much of the world. For this one, it's really more that paper in the US is actually just smaller. <laughs> this is a standard adult dinner spoon in Germany. And this is one of the three spoons that I had my parents bring me from the US because spoons here in Germany are just ginormous. I mean, Whose mouths are these made to fit comfortably into? Before resorting to bringing spoons from the US, I did try going spoon shopping in Germany, assuming that Mr. German man had simply bought the world's largest spoons, only to find that, no, no, short of buying kids spoons, which I really, truly did consider for a few minutes, I really didn't find any smaller spoon options. Spoons here are just big. Okay, okay, I'll admit it with this one, I might be stretching the meaning of big a little bit. Titles in Germany are probably better described as long rather than big, but let's just go with it anyway. As far as I know, in the US, you get one title before your name, one, in conversation and in writing. So are you Dr. Smith, Mrs. Smith, Mr. Smith? You get to pick one. You can't be Mr. Dr. Smith or Mrs. Dr. Smith. Whereas in Germany, you can. Herr Dr. Schmidt and Frau Dr. Schmidt is how it's said. And in writing, load up on whatever titles you have. So on business cards, for example, here in Germany, you could see a name with what looks like just a whole big jumble of letters in front of it. Now, yes, this one is Bavaria specific, as is the next one. And here, beer is often served in huge glasses one liter at a time. And you can also buy pretzels as big as your head to go along with it. I'm not really such a big beer drinker, but on my first trip to Munich, I decided to give the stuff a try, see what all the fuss was about. So I just went ahead and ordered whatever everyone else had gotten. And you can probably imagine my shock when the largest amount of beer that I had ever seen was plunked down on the table in front of me. With bazillions of visitors every year, the Oktoberfest in Munich is the largest beer festival in the world. 
So my question for you is, what else is bigger in Germany? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos and maybe give this video a little love with the like button. And there should be another video above my head that maybe you want to check out. And also for more photos and sometimes other short video clips, you can check me out over here on my Twitter and my Facebook page. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen. What do spoons and words have in common? In Germany, they're both freak, 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 freaking humongous. Everyone is always saying that stuff is bigger in America, like cars, houses, food, streets. Like, everything is bigger in America. But I don't know why we're making this video. Is there even something that is bigger in Germany? Let's have a look. One, one big word, one big word, rather than the smaller English word. One big word. A standard piece of paper in the US is a little bit wider than the German paper, but a good bit um, shorter. shorter. <laughs> What's the word? Shorter.